Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and today I'm going to make some Christmas earrings. So I have these brass forms that I thought looked like Christmas ornaments. There's a hole at the top and three holes at the bottom. So I have some cloisonne Christmas color beads. I think they are so pretty and I want to put this at the top. And then at the bottom here, I want to hang these e-beads. I have them in green, red, and kind of a clear color. And then I'm going to use these tiny, tiny little gold colored seed beads. I'm going to need these little bitty jump rings. And then I'm using some, um, I need three head pins and one eye pin and of course I need an ear wire and then I need round nose pliers, wire cutters, flat nose pliers. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and get all my beads onto their little pins. So I'm going to use the little golden tone seed beads to flank the cloisonne here. So we'll have one on either side. And we already have an opening here since it's an eye pin, so I need to make another loop at the other end. And I'm just making it very simple. Wait. All right, I don't know where my mind was. I thought I was going to be wrapping, and I'm not, but I'm gonna to try to save this head pin. Um, let's see. We normally don't do a loop like this, but let's see if I can save it. If not, we'll just start all over again. Still needs to be cut a little bit more. little bit more. See, I still I can cut it right there. See, we can save this guy. And I think we have. It was kind of a roundabout way to make a loop. <laughs> but it worked. And I'm going to go ahead and um, open this up and hang it on the top here. And then close it back up. And everything's really little with this piece. Make sure it's closed. I think it is, but I just want to make sure. All right. And then what the heck, I'll go ahead and hang the ear wire. I want to make sure that it's going to be hanging correctly, which I think it will be. Well, wait a minute. It's not. See how both of these are going the same way? So I need to twist this, which is not that big of a deal to do, just like that. Because you don't want your earring to hang sideways. That would look funny. Make sure it's hanging correctly. All right, now we've got to hang the little tassels. So for these, I am going to wire wrap them. And I'm going to start with a tiny golden bead. And I'm going to go ahead and do the middle one first, which I'm going to start with the, let's see, I'm going to start with the red bead. And then another golden bead, a clear bead, just every other one with the golden bead, ending with the green, and then another golden bead. So that's going to be the middle. These we're going to start with um, after we get the golden bead on there. We'll have the green. Ending with the red and the gold.
Whoops. Sometimes these beads like to fly. <laughs> All right, we've got them all strung up. Now we need to do a messy loop. Move that out of the way, move this out of the way. All right, I'm just going to use the tips, the skinny part of my round nose pliers and just wrap that around like that. And then just wrap it around. Clip that off, and then there's a little piece of wire there. You want to make sure that's tucked in. Okay, this is the middle one, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on my little form here. And you need to find the, the split part of the split rings. Got this backwards. I usually use a little ring type instrument to open these up with. But today I'm using two pliers. And once you get everything on there, you just close it up, make sure there's no gap. There may be a little gap there, and if there is, just take your pliers and kind of gently squeeze it to make sure it's shut. Now to work on these other two. Tuck that in a little bit. I want to do this last one here. You have to do a lot of adjusting with your pliers when you make these wrapped loops. I'm just going to tuck those in and then we'll hang these. All right, now all we have to do is open these tiny little split rings up. And hang them on our ornament. Well, sometimes it's really hard to see these openings. There we go. I'll be honest with you too. I am a recovered nail picker biter. <laughs> and these are actually the longest I've ever had my nails. And I find it difficult to work with longer nails. I don't know how you, you people who have those gorgeous fingernails work on stuff like this. It is beyond my comprehension. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, you know, I've, I've, been, I've had short nails my whole life until the last couple years. Well, not even a couple years. So I guess 60 years plus, I've had no nails. So I'm not used to it. And the other thing I have an issue with is I can't see. All right, I think we got it all done. All right, let me move all this out so we can look at these earrings. Didn't those come out fun? I love dangles like this. I remember when I was in high school, these type of fringe earrings were really popular. That was during the 70s. 
I absolutely loved them and I wore them all the time. I just love the movement of them. So that's all we have for today. Let me know what you think of these earrings. Have you ever made any fringe earrings? Anyway, I really would appreciate a thumbs up. Mostly though, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.